my friends are sins. Today I'm in the middle of writing a brand new song and I thought I would record a video to share with you the process by which I am creating this particular bit of musical genius. The reason for that, even though I don't really need to justify why I make any of these videos, is because I'm trying out something a bit new and a bit different, at least for me anyway. A wee while ago I did a video talking about songwriting and the approach that I take to writing lyrics in particular, but I'm always interested in finding new and interesting approaches for finding inspiration or interesting work and things that you can put into your songs. And so when I was on holiday a few weeks ago, I was reading a book by Jeff Tweedy, who's the singer and songwriter extraordinaire of Wilco. Now I'm not a big fan of Wilco, or at least I've never really been all that familiar with their music outside of a few songs. So I picked this up purely because it was fairly short, it was cheap on Amazon, and also I, I just wanted to see what they had to say about songwriting. And as it turned out, unlike a lot of these other books that you get on how to write songs, where it's very dry and clinical and kind of, you know, droll and uninspiring. Tweedy actually had a very warm and accessible narration style and gave some really interesting and helpful practical tips to find inspiration for, you know, discovering words or phrases or, you know, making connections in your brain that you might not otherwise have made. Now, one of the tips that he gave is to take a book, so any kind of novel, and hum a melody along with it whilst you scan the pages. Now, it doesn't have to be a melody that you want to write music to. You can do this just to practice songwriting. However, in my case, I'm doing it with a melody that I want to write for a particular song. Now, the idea is that you hum this melody or you keep the melody in your head as you're skimming through the book and hopefully words or phrases should jump out at you that would fit in with the melody and timing or the, you know, percussive rhythmical kind of feeling of the syllables that you've got in your mind. Now, that might sound a bit mental, but if you think about it, it actually makes sense because if you've got a song and you get an idea of how things should sound in your head like me, 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 me. you can kind of feel where the words should go but you might not necessarily know where to begin with the words. Now often I tend to start with a title or a concept or something and try and write words to that but it isn't always possible to do that and sometimes you just need a wee bit of a kick up the arse or a starting point or you know just a way to find turns of phrase that you never would otherwise and so what I'm doing today is going through with Generation X from Douglas Copeland, which is one of my favourite books or one of the books that I kind of, you know, were formative to my youth as it were. And I've been going through and listening to the melody that I've got in my head along with the music that I've recorded in my DAW. And then I've been writing down wee lines in this notebook here and then going back to them and making a song out of them. Now the interesting thing about this is that people may automatically assume that you're stealing the words from another artist or another author or whatever and of course you are that is the nature of art all art is theft as it were I found this to be an incredibly effective method not least because it allows you to bypass that awkward early stage of the songwriting process where you're sitting faced with just a blank piece of paper and you somehow expect your conscious mind to just conjure up all of these artful turns of phrase doing things this way means that you can let the words come to you and your subconscious does all of the work whilst keeping that key melody in your head this is definitely something that I'm going to be exploring a bit more, but for now I'm going to continue to do this. For now I'm going to leave you with the song uh, which will hopefully be finished at some point so that I can make this video. Otherwise this entire outro will make absolutely no sense whatsoever. <laughs> 